welcome to the next Patreon stream in our uh, ongoing series of Tolkien adaptation live streams, Hobbit Com or Hobbit Dat. Let's see, choose monitor type, color. That looks colorful. Look at the Smaug. Looks kind of like crick -necked. He's like, mm -hmm. and he's got the tongue hanging out, the Gene Simmons tongue hanging out. Yeah, so so this would have been a little bit after the Rankin Bass cartoon, but there's still not like a uh, a defined visual style for Middle Earth so specifically. Uh, choose display width. I'm guessing 80. Do you want pictures? Yes. Look at that. Look at that nice little front hall of Bag End. You are in a comfortable tunnel-like hall with a perfectly round green door like a porthole. <laughs> oh, I have a feeling we're going to get a lot of... Uh, descriptions straight out of the text and i'm on board for that okay though i don't know how i feel about this color scheme <laughs> okay i'm guessing this is like a real-time text adventure so uh, uh i gotta move quickly talk to thorin you talk to thorin thorin waits thorin says well are we going to just stand here all day okay i guess open door the door is open and it's to the east, so I guess we go east to get out of here. You cannot get ye flask. You can never get ye flask. You're in a gloomy, empty land with dreary hills ahead, rising higher and higher, dark with trees. So I guess directly outside of Bag End, things get a little gloomy. You're in a small clearing, half hidden among the trees. Oh, this looks like uh, a cauldron where some roast mutton might be happening. You can see a hideous troll. Blimey, look at this. Can you cook them? Uh, oh, I'm dead already. <laughs> you wait, time passes. Gandalf and Thorin both ask if we're going to just stand here all day. The hideous troll eats you. His foul gluttony has killed a hideous troll. You are dead. <laughs> you have mastered... <laughs> I did barely anything, and I mastered 2% of this adventure. Okay, this, uh, this game is wild. <laughs> <laughs> nah, these graphics are worse. Open chest. Look inside chest. Look chest. Nope. Look at ch Look at chest. You can see nothing special about the wooden chest. Inside the chest. Chest is open. Empty chest. I cannot do that. So the chest, uh, I don't know what's in there. Okay, so east was where uh, the trolls were. So let's try north. Also where the trolls are. <laughs> no matter where we go, it's where the trolls are. Hide from troll. Hide. Hide self from troll. Hide Bilbo from troll. Hide behind log. I don't know. Talk to hideous troll. You talk to the hideous troll, the hideous troll eats you. <laughs> <sighs> this is just going to be a million ways to die in the Shire. Look at castles. Interesting idea, but I'm afraid you can't do that. To vicious troll. You talk to the vicious troll. A troll says no. Gandalf goes southwest. Thorin waits. The hideous troll eats you. His foul gluttony has killed a hideous troll. You are dead. You have mastered 2% of this adventure. I mean, yeah, it's it's one of the limitations of the genre that um, they could only program a finite number of... They can only program a finite vocabulary into any game with a text input. And I was running into this also with the... Um, with the interplay Lord of the Rings game, I, I was running into the same thing where, where it's like you could ask the characters questions and you were just trying to look for the keywords in the things they said to find out more. But then some of the keywords or some of the things that seemed like keywords they didn't actually have responses for. So, um, yeah, this is not an uncommon uh, uh, scenario, but... Uh, yeah, so many text inputs uh, end up treating me like hell. 
kill Gandalf. You attack Gandalf, but the effort is wasted. His defense is too strong. Gandalf attacks you. With one well-placed blow, Gandalf cleaves your skull. You are dead. <laughs> I like this Gandalf who, as much as he loves Bilbo and goes out of his way to bring Bilbo on this adventure, he has not taken any shit from Bilbo. <laughs> okay, now I want to see what happens if you kill, uh, if you try to kill Thorin. Kill Thorin. You attack Thorin, but the effort is wasted. His defense is too strong. Gandalf opens the round green door. Thorin attacks you, but the effort is wasted. Your defense is too strong. <laughs> Thorin attacks you with one well-placed blow. Thorin cleaves your skull. You are dead. Is this also going to have like a like an RPG element where I have like uh, various stats and like they're going to do a random number generator to <laughs> anytime I get into combat. <laughs> I'm just picturing Gandalf going full overblown. Like for Bilbo, this weak hobbit who's never left the Shire, basically never left the Shire before, has no combat training. He just on a whim tries to kill Gandalf. And then Gandalf brings in the full, like, I am a servant of the secret file, wielder of the flame of Anor. <laughs> just just go goes full, full intense Gandalf murder. <laughs> That would be, that'd be funny. I am going to take a second to find a strategy guide just because uh, who wants to, who wants to spend this much time uh, just not knowing what they're doing. The Hobbit had, for the time, quite an advanced language recognition system. To progress from the game, you have to use words from the game dictionary. Game dictionary, down, east, north, Northeast, Northwest, South, Southeast, Southwest, Up, West. Examine, help, inventory. Maybe examine that chest at the beginning. Does Gandalf do anything useful? Not really. He will kill creatures for you. A hideous stone troll. So, okay. So the key to winning is to not actually trick the trolls into waiting till sunrise. It's just they will wait, wait until sunrise. You are in a much used trolls cave. <laughs> This is straight up Hagatha's cave from King's Quest 2, and and uh, I'm on board. Oh, hey, are we already at Rivendell? <laughs> Boy, this, this is a really uh, condensed space, isn't it? Oh, you do say to Elrond. There you go. To Elrond, hello. Say hello to Elrond. Hello. You hello. Eat lunch. To Elrond, read map. You talk to Elrond. Elrond examines the curious map. Elrond says, go west from the treeless opening to get to outside Goblin's Gate. Like... Okay. <laughs> Narrow and dangerous path. A wide hall with a fireplace in the middle. Huh? Open. Where am I? Am I still in Rivendell? Behind the wall, there is a lar large cupboard. Large cupboard. Is this Bjorn's place or is this just... What's going on here? Northeast. You're at the gate to Merkel. So did I just skip the... Did I just skip the Misty Mountains entirely? <laughs> the problem with like text adventure walkthroughs, especially, is I feel like it's just somebody else reading the story to me and not me actually. Like, because text adventures are kind of interactive books in some ways. At, at a certain point, if someone's telling me the exact inputs, I feel like I'm just reading and not actually playing. But on the other hand, if I'm just completely confused and lost, I'm also. <laughs> This game must have been completely impenetrable to anyone who did not know the story. Because, like, without a strategy guide, how are they supposed to know wait for dawn <laughs> for the trolls to turn to stone? <laughs> what on earth? Uh, I like these... The handful of graphics that are here I really like. Um, I also... 
get why they streamlined it by only having uh, Thorin and not having the rest of the dwarves. <laughs> the Rankin Bass movie had all the dwarves, but most of them don't ever say anything, really. Well, if Bilbo never finds the ring, let's see how far he can get. You are in a bewitched, gloomy place surrounded by thick trees, filled with spider webs. The Wood Elf enters. I didn't say Elrond. Oh, you are in a dark dungeon somewhere under the Elven King's Great Halls. That was abrupt after my uh, obsession earlier today premiered. We just watched the new Defunct Land on Fast Pass, and a lot of it was about uh, a lot. Of, a lot of it was about Disney creating their own problems and then selling ways to bypass the problems. And uh, that was kind of the Sierra model. The Wood Elf captures you. You're in a dark dungeon somewhere under the Elven King's Great Halls. To the southwest, there is the Red Door. To the west, there is the Red Door. The Vicious Warg. <laughs> Wait, there's a Warg? Okay. <laughs> Why was there a Warg? What? Why was there a Warg in the Elven King's? Is, is this game glitching? Is this game glitching? <laughs> Why is there a Warg in the Elven King's dungeon? Okay. I hate to do it, but I'm going to... Go back here and look at the look at the guide. A lot of steps to go before we get to get ring. Okay, east, south, east, north, northwest, north, southeast. Then down, down to Goblin Town. You are on a, on a steep zigzag path leading into a secret valley. Wasn't Rivendell already the secret valley? This seems like artificial padding to just to have several screens of the same thing where I just have to where I only have one exit and have to keep going the same way. Ah, now we're somewhere. Far o'er the misty valley cold. Get sand. Some sand is too heavy to lift. Some sand's too heavy to lift. Da -da 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 How is use not in your vocabulary text adventure? With a sword. The sword is broken. I broke Sting. Well, I uh, am not sure what's happening here. Okay, so I just have to keep doing the trap door until it breaks, but not with the sword because that'll break the sword. Smash trap door. Oh, this time it broke it in one. The door is broken. Thorin takes the small curious key. So I'm guessing there was a key in there boy we get captured a lot so i was supposed to wait for the goblin but if he just captures me right away what am i supposed to do then uh yeah thorn we are just going to stand here all day until something actually happens southwest then down wait north southeast east get ring okay the valuable golden ring get ring okay pause save four Wear ring. You wear the valuable golden ring. Thorin says, where's the thief? Gollum enters. Let's just let Thorin and Gollum duke it out. Kill Gollum. No. You attack Gollum. His defense is too strong. Gollum goes north. You are in a small glade standing near a grate set into the ground. So I didn't need to riddle with Gollum after all. Unless I do. Unless I... Needed to get something by riddling with him that I will never uh, get now. But you're on a little use path through the forest. You're on a little use path through the forest. The trunks of the trees are huge and gnarled. Their branches twisted. Their leaves stalk and long. Ivy grows on them and hangs almost to the ground from the overhanging boughs. You are below Long Lake, where its doubled waters pour into a high waterfall and run away to unknown lands. I do like the variety of uh, scenery we're getting for Markwood. That's nice uh, compared to the variety we got in the Misty Mountains. Um, oh, hey. <laughs> you go east. You are below Long Lake where it's doubled waters, pour over high waterfall, and run away to unknown lands. You see nothing. Thorn enters. The Wood Elf enters. You see Pale Bull beside staring at you. Something drops from above and stings. You are dead. <laughs> that is a lot of things that all happened at once, and I got 39 percent of the way through this game i am okay time to check this strategy guide again throw rope across river pull rope 
Say to Thorin, climb in boat, climb out. Since we don't have Bomber, I guess we won't have to carry him around because he won't fall in the river. <laughs> um, kill Butler with sword. I'm going to have to kill the elf Butler later. It looks like I'm also going to have to coach Bard through killing Smaug, which is wild. Clearly, this game is not intuitive, so I am going to just follow the guide exactly. You are at the gate to Mirkwood. It's weird that the game allows you to end up in Mirkwood without entering Mirkwood, right? And it's weird that the game allows you to bypass the Misty Mountains. Like, those... That feels less like the Last Crusade thing of uh, give, of giving you the option of exploration. And that feels more like glitches and mistakes. But I could be wrong. <laughs> Look across river. Look at the river. Cool. Am I stuck here? Hello? Hello. Did I break the game by saying look across river? I'm pushing keys and none of them are doing anything. Hello. Hello. Okay, so I broke the game. Let's open DOS box again. Save slot six. Look across river. You are at the west bank of a stream. Thank you for loading all the way this time. Say climb into boat because Thorin is an idiot who can't do anything without me. You are in a place of you are in a place of black spiders. Okay. You are in a place of black spiders. In every direction lie thick, smothering spider webs that seem to close in around you. To the east, there is the bro broken web. To the west, there is the broken web. To the north, there is the broken web. To the south, there is the broken web. You can see nothing except all that broken web. I don't think coming in here wasn't one of your better ideas, thief. To the east, there is the broken web. To the northeast, there is the magic door. The magic door. Just the magic door. Ne never mind explaining to us about any magic door. Just... Uh... Visible exits are west. You can see nothing. Thorin enters, and it's saying, where ring now? Thorin says, where's the thief? Visible exits are south. You can see nothing. Thorin enters. The vicious warg enters. Sure. Look at butler. You can see nothing special about the dead butler. Okay, get... Maybe the warg killed him. Get key. You get the red key. The vicious warg run around you and howls. <laughs> Kill warg. You attack the vicious warg, but the effort is wasted. Thorin waits, the vicious warg attacks you. I'm invisible. Okay, so this game is very inconsistent. I think I am out of steam on this game for tonight, everyone. It, it's, it's more frustrating than enjoyable, even as a fan of text adventures. <laughs> I mentioned in the video that came out today that I didn't know if this would be my favorite adaptation of The Hobbit because I haven't played it yet. And uh, despite my love of the genre, it's definitely not my favorite. But, um, but uh, I am so happy this exists, even if it's uh, a little frustrating to deal with right now.